everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our StartLogic hosting account. As you can see, we've already opened the welcome email, and we'll begin by clicking on the link for the control panel. We'll log in. And here you can see the StartLogic VDEC4 control panel. We'll click on the link for Mojo Marketplace. Next, we'll click on One Click Installs. Next, we'll click on the WordPress icon. We'll click on the Install button. The first thing we need to do here is select the domain on which we would like to install WordPress. The default here, ncmtest05.com is correct, so we'll leave that form field as is. As we would like WordPress to be the content management system for the entire website, we're going to install it in the root directory, and therefore we're going to leave this form field empty. You need not worry about the word directory there. WordPress will not install into a directory named directory. That is just there to hold place and show you where to enter a directory name should you decide to use one. Next, we'll click the Check Domain button. It's checking the domain. We'll wait patiently. The message tells us that it looks like files already exist within the root directory. That's fine. We didn't worry about it. We're going to overwrite those files and click the Continue button. This message tells us that our domain has not yet been set up for hosting. That's incorrect. We have used the domain for a test site for a number of weeks now, so we'll just ignore that message. We will check off Show Advanced Options. Site name or title. We'll enter a name for our site. Admin username. Our email address is fine. Admin password. We'll copy that for future reference. Automatically create a new database for the installation. That's fine. Next, we'll check off agreeing to the terms and conditions and click the Install Now button. We'll get rid of the advertising. And we can direct our attention to the top of the screen. This is the progress bar for our WordPress installation. We'll wait patiently. The message tells us that WordPress has been installed. We'll click the View Credentials button. That's basically the login information. We'll click the View link. And here you can see our WordPress login information. A note about this link. This link includes two slashes. It should only include one, but it works nonetheless. We'll use the WP Admin link to log into the WordPress dashboard. We'll log in.
log in. And here you can see our brand new WordPress dashboard. From this screen we can control all aspects of our WordPress site. To create a new post we simply go to plus, new, post. We enter a title for our post here. We enter our content here and click the publish button. But we won't be creating a new post today. We are simply going to take a look at our site by using a visit site link at the top of the dashboard. And here you can see our new WordPress site. It's a little bit on the ugly side, but we can change the look of the site by selecting a different theme using the WordPress dashboard. We can also use the dashboard to delete the default Hello World post. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.